So number five from paper two of the 2016 new hire. There we go, the angle between two vectors. Only six marks this time. There's a bit of a spiel to begin with, which you can just ignore because it's quite clearly expressed here. Here's the two vectors, and there's the angle you want between them. I should really say, there's the two vectors. Well, part A, express AB and AC in component form. Well, AB will be B minus A. If we just spell it out for safety, because you could otherwise just say AB is going to be negative 2 to 10 would be 8 back, but we'll not. So we've got negative 10, 18, 7, take away negative 2, 2, 5. So negative 10 plus 2, negative 8, that'll be 16 and that'll be 2. Same with AC, that'll be C minus A, spell it out. So C is negative 4, negative 6, 21, and A is again negative 2, 2, 5. So negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Negative 6 minus 2 is negative 8, and 21 take away 5 is 16. And that would just be a mark each, whether you were just stated or whether you put this down first. Another thing to notice is the numbers are quite big, which can be annoying, but you've got the same numbers, ignoring the positives and negatives. That means you're going to have the same magnitudes. doesn't matter which kind of order they're in, because you square them and add them. And part B, hence or otherwise, find the size of angle BAC. Well, you're just probably going to go straight in with cos BAC will be, and just use that rearrangement of the scalar product. So it'll be AB dot AC, divided by the scalar product, in other words, using the components, divided by the magnitude of A times the magnitude of AB, that is AC. Now you can feed it all in here, or you can work them out separately. I normally feed them all in, but I'll work them out separately. AB dot AC, because there's obviously going to be a mark for each of these, even though I know two of them are going to be the same. AB dot AC is, and these are a bit big, negative 8 times negative 2, plus, I'll still keep them in the little placeholder brackets, negative 8 plus 2 times 16. So that's going to give me a 16, but minus 128 plus 32. So that's going to be 48 off of that, negative 80. That's probably a mark. Length of AB. That'll just be the three-dimensional Pythagoras, the negative 8 squared, the 16 squared, and the 2 squared. So that's the square root of 64, 2, 5, 6, and 4. So that's the square root of 260, 3, 2, 4. Now, AC is obviously the same, but I think I'll still put it down to begin with anyway. Negative 2 squared, negative 8 squared, and 16 squared, but I'll just jump straight in with 3, 2, 4. It's paper 2, I suppose you could just have used your calculator. So there's these two answers for the two magnitudes. So the final bit will be just feed it in. You've got negative 80 over, now you know the root times the root is going to cancel out. I'll just put them anyway. 3, 2, 4, 3, 2, 4, which means angle BAC will be the inverse cos of, I'll simplify it a bit here, It'll just be 3, 2, 4, because the square roots would multiply back out to that number. Now it's just a case of put that in your calculator, and you're done. And you get 104 point, etc. 104.294, and so on, which will just round off to 104.3 degrees for BAC.